Close your eyes and think cool thoughts. For the body to be healthy, it needs to have a balance. The air outside is hot, so try to find a cool spot inside the body and focus your attention there. This is a basic principle all the time in the meditation. Try to find balance for the mind. If you're feeling flighty, try to give the mind some more solidity. If the mind is sluggish, you try to raise it up, raise its level of energy. In other words, bring things into balance. Of course, there's only so much you can do to bring the body into balance, but there's a lot you can do to bring the mind into balance. Learning how to read the mind this way <clears throat> its an important skill in the meditation. The John used to say, notice where your mind is leading forward or leading back. They compare it to getting into a physical position for the meditation. You don't want to lean forward, back, left, or right. Then you check the mind. If it's leading forward, i.e. it's moving into the future, trying to bring it back to the present. If it's thinking about things in the past, bring it up into the present. Left and right, it's going to things it likes, things it doesn't like. Try to be more neutral here in the present, just to watch what's going on. As the Buddha taught his son, you want to make your mind like earth. In other words, the earth has people throwing things on it, but it doesn't react. They throw nice things on it, the earth doesn't get excited, they throw unpleasant things, the earth doesn't get repelled. It's just there with what's happening. Of course, you don't want to be just you know, dull like the earth, but you want to be as non-reactive as the earth. So you can actually see what's happening, you especially want to see what's going on in your mind. If you see something in your mind you don't like and you try to cover it up immediately, you're never going to see it. You have to have some powers of endurance, some powers of non-reactivity in order to recognize things as they come and to admit things as they come. This is why we put the mind into concentration, to give it a good place to be in the present moment, where it can simply watch, watch what's going on and then figure out what needs to be done, rather than just simply reacting. This is action taken with knowledge, not action taken in ignorance, and that makes all the difference in the world.